Oh, the gibble just died. <gasps> Welcome back to the Big Jimmy Cigar Review. You can call me DJ, and today we're taking a look at the Casa de Garcia by Monte Cristo. Let's go! Okay, hopefully my cool little intro worked with the drone there and I was able to sync my, my voice up good enough anyway. Um, hi, everybody. We are well in, we're, do, we're doing things a, a bit differently today. Wow, this thing. So I have this cool gimbal that'll track my face, but it's, it's a lot, lots going on. Um, we're in Texas. This is the least cold day so far. Um, it's been a big shit show here in Texas, and a real, real showing of how shitty our government is. A lot of bad things have happened. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of bad things, especially in Fort Worth, where I am. A lot, a lot of incompetence, a lot of poor planning. But anyway, very different setup today. I thought it'd be funny if I shot a video in the cold. The first day I wanted to try, it was feels like negative two outside. The second day I wanted to try was feels like negative 10. Today it's in the 20s, so it's not that bad. Tradishigar was requested for me to do a review on. Cold draw is a bit of honey hay. Also, this is a completely new setup, so hopefully the audio is okay. And uh, yeah, if this works out, Oh, the gimbal just died. <gasps> See, it's cold enough that my lighters won't work. So like I said, it was requested that I review this cigar, this Casa de Garcia, which I didn't know was kind of like the, the cheap $2 cigar made by not, the folks over at Monte Cristo. What do I think so far? On light up, It tastes like a $2 cigar. It tastes like cheap tobacco and a little bit of cream uh, and pepper. So it's nice, it's nice, it's definitely nice. I love it. it's a, for two bucks, good stick. Retro brings out a lot more of that black pepper. Compared to the quorum though, it just, the quorum tastes like better quality tobacco to me. Um, it also has a crazy natural sweetness to that tobacco. Um, I really like the quorum shade. I, I, it's hard to beat. You can get them for like a dollar fifty. Um, it's a great cigar. But the Casa de Sa Garcia here uh, is nice. It's a real nice, pleasant, uh, kind of little, little, little spicy, little spicy uh, of a cigar here, and I like it. Yeah, you do get a little bit of vanilla on this. It's like a nice little vanilla, kind of woodsy. Not, it, it's cedar, but it's a little, like a, a little darker of a cedar. It's not as bright, not as sweet. Um, but yeah, comparatively, if you wanted something that tasted more like, okay, kind of like the, the Alec Bradley American classic, okay? It's like a cheap version of that. Overall, again, just like the video I said, don't sleep on $2 cigars. There's a bit of a bread note to it now. Hmm. This is, this is more complex than the quorum shade. That's what I'll say for sure, for sure. This is much more complex of a smoke. The quorum shade is, is kind of one note. It's a good note, but it's one note. This has a lot more moving to it. So, if you're like me, and you like something that kind of, oh, well, that's a fun effect, dances with you, this is good. It's not as sweet, though. It's not as sweet. Yeah. Like a little bit of a 
sweet and savory thing going on there's sweet vanilla to it there's rich wood there's some pepper and there's kind of savory bread notes all kind of mixed together for a solid cigar it's even burning pretty well take a look at this where's the camera on this over oh, right here it's burning pretty good it's it's 22 degrees out something like that I don't know what the feels like is, but hey, that's solid. So let me ask you all this. First of all, to all my Southerners who are not used to this weather, how are you holding up? Hope you're doing well. To my Texans, I hope you have power. I hope you have water. We didn't have safe water. We don't have safe water right now. As of right now, today, we are still under a boil notice, which means our water is not safe to consume or really use. They're not telling us what that means or if we're like washing our hands with shit water, but it's not safe. So we're having to boil everything, which takes a lot of time and is annoying, but we are blessed to have power in order the fact that we can boil things because a lot of Texans right now are out of power. And that's scary because there's a lot of bursted pipes. There's a lot of shit going on. Um, the special like power council of Texas were assholes yesterday and held a special meeting to increase the cost of power because the demand was high, but the supply was low, but they fucked up and they're the reasons that the supply is low. Now I'm a capitalist, but that's some scummy shit right there. All right, we are <coughs> in the second third here. And the red note is more prominent, but it's more like a burnt toast. Um, I'm smoking this too fast, which I'm sure is affecting the flavor but it is it's more like a slightly burnt toast with some pepper and some vanilla cream so overall it's not and that even that is not that bad but overall it's quality smoke it's holding up well it's being over smoked in the cold this is like a good way to stress test a cigar if you get a two dollar cigar chances are you're not getting long filler tobacco you're probably getting chop filler tobacco or maybe a cuban sandwich a little bit of both uh, it looks pretty chop filler to me it might be a little, a little bit of long filler just to hold the structural integrity of the cigar together because that's what a lot of companies do they do all cuban sandwiches which are perfectly fine cigars and honestly you get really great values when you get a cuban sandwich we're wrong Casa de Garcia by the folks at Monte Cristo is a good cigar. Solid option here. Especially if, if you know, a lot of people, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people still lost their jobs. A lot of people are living on employment. They can't really afford to have a $9 cigar, $10, a $5 cigar. A $2 cigar, though, that's probably doable. You know, even if it's just like, if you, sometimes you need to splurge on yourself and it's okay if spending two dollars on yourself is splurging on yourself it shouldn't even be quotes if it is splurging on yourself i remember when i moved to texas we moved in a week basically my in-laws were sick we moved here to take care of them we had enough money for two months worth of rent and that was pretty much it and i remember going on like four jobs interviews in one day and then we were sitting in the middle of a 99 cent store shopping for groceries and I remember sitting and standing there in a suit looking like an asshole in the middle of the 99 cent store thinking I can't afford to buy any of this so if you're in a situation where spending two dollars on a cigar is is a big thing for you and it's worth it to keep that you know mentally I get you I get you because I've been there it's not fun having a camera that follows you is quite handy 
this is cool so my work gives out uh, like reward points when you do a good job <laughs> i saved up enough of them and i bought this like 80 dollar gimbal on amazon i think it was on sale it was like amazon deal today like 40 bucks it's cool it's called the uh, hoem h o h e m it comes with this little app that has face tracker technology that's how the last time i used it was on the um the five vegas video that i shot on the beach i was walking around holding that that probably would have been a, a smarter idea sitting down is Have you had a Casa Gar Have you had a Casa de Garcia? And if so, what do you think? Overall, solid value to me at least. Um, really good. Would you like to know the story behind this ugly beanie? If I told you it was twenty dollars for this no brand finish it beanie would you believe me because it is so here's the story i was at disney world with the family as you do because typically you don't go by yourself now there are some people that do so we'll be in we were in line for winnie the pooh one time and there was this really excited woman in front of us and i thought maybe like she was maybe a special needs or something because she was really excited to meet Winnie the Pooh. And I'm like, oh, that's really great. They took her to Disney World. That's really cool. Nope. She had a backpack full of all these autographs from different Disney characters. She just loves Disney that much. And I can somewhat kind of relate because I grew up, I grew up about 45 minutes away from Disneyland in California. And I was in band and we were good. So I played backstage at both parks. I marched down Main Street Disney and down, down uh, California Adventure. So I can get it. I understand loving Disney, but if you're in your forties, which she was, and you got a backpack full of people who are in their twenties, dressed up as fictitious Disney cartoons, signatures on a backpack and you're really excited to meet one of them dressed up like a Winnie the Pooh I mean do you boo boo and do whatever makes you happy don't get me wrong no no judgment but a little bit of judgment just a little bit you know what I mean anyway so I was at Disney the world in Florida where it's supposed to be hot it's supposed to be hot I'm dressed for it to be hot I'm in shorts and some freak storm hit and it ends up being 50 degrees and raining so i bought gloves not these shittier gloves and this hat none of them with disney apparel because they didn't have any of their winter stuff available to sale they like went down to walmart or something and bought a bunch of these hats and then we're selling them for crazy disney prices because you bought it at disney world so for shitty gloves that looked like they were for walmart and match this hat i paid like forty dollars because each one was 20 bucks mm. i never addressed this so why aside for the meme why aren't i smoking in my nice warm garage warm it's pretty cold in there because it's so cold in texas i put my car in the garage and uh i don't have like a special reserve spot for shooting that isn't where my car goes so currently my car wherever you know where you see me sit with the really cool background where where that chair is there's a bumper and right next to that bumper or attached to that bumper rather is the rest of my car let's try and take this band off here though my hand's falling off in the cold band game is strong let's take a look at this band I didn't get into any close-ups or voiceover. It is the Casa de Garcia, Connecticut. If I didn't say that, which I'm remembering now I didn't, it's the Connecticut. There's a Maduro and a Connecticut. There might be a Sun Grown, I don't know. I've smoked the Maduro. It was squishy and weird and I did not like the Maduro. As we head into the final third here, the bread note is gone. The vanilla is gone. 
pretty much everything's gone but subpar tobacco and a whole bunch of pepper pepper in the retro pepper on the tongue finishes quick still it's still a pleasant cigar for two bucks the casa de garcia is definitely a cigar worth smoking it's not worth smoking however in the cold it's not worth smoking in the cold i'm done you can call me dj thanks for watching pj and i'll see you in the next video bye